uh, in today's session, what we are going to do, as I shared the scenario on WhatsApp, right? So it is saying like whenever we are going to close an opportunity, we need to create a contract and basically that contract is linked with an account whenever an opportunity is closed. And we need to populate something, let's say uh, contract start date equals to close date of current opportunity and contract end date equals to 12 months after the start date. Right. So let's start building the flow. So obviously, as we need to auto create a record, we need to obviously create a record triggered flow for that. So just navigate to flow and click on new flow, record triggered flow, click create. And in the object, we need to select opportunity. Now here you need to make a decision, right? Like as I, when I shared the scenario, first of all, your thinking should be on which object I need to write trigger, right? So you need to think like when an opportunity is going to be in closed stage at that time we need to create a contract right so that's how you need to think okay uh, by what is happening and then what we need to do so when an opportunity is going into a uh, closed one state at that time we need to create a contract so that's why we are going to write a trigger on opportunity and when a record is updated let's say condition is and or whatever because we are going to use a single condition or you can say two conditions basically stage name equals to closed one and you can also add us another condition which is a stage name is a changed boolean true just to make sure that our flow only run when that particular stage is going to be changed right although what you can do is uh, if you not going, if you are not going to select the second condition, what you can do, you can select the second condition, which says only when a record is updated to meet the condition requirement. This condition means the same. Let's say if I add another condition here, uh, stage name is changed boolean true, then this means same. So when I add this is changed boolean true, you will see my flow provide me a not because you selected the change operator is a condition you can't change the when to run the flow for updated records to select an option for when to run the flow remove all this change right so uh, basically this means same so let if i let me delete this and let's try to understand this one so when my stage equals to closed one and now it is saying only when a record is updated to meet the condition requirement means when my record is going to be changed into closed one only then i need to run my flow so that's why you can see i selected the second condition also you can select the first condition and the, and the is changed condition in your flow it totally depends on you so as i don't want to create a second condition i can only use the only when a record is updated to meet the condition required what kind of flow i am going to write i am going to write uh, i am going to update the same record or I need to create some related record. So obviously we are going to create a contract. That's why we need to uh, select action on related record here and click done. So now what we need to do is we need to create a contract record, right? So I am going to use create record element here. Let's say create contract. And now only a single record and use all value from a record. Not I'm going to use a separate resources because I need to populate a lot of values on contract record. So what I can do contract. Or I will also let you know that how you can uh, do the same by creating a contract record, right? Like contract record variable. So for now, just uh, you, I am going to use this use separate resource than literal value. After that, I'm going to use the this one condition, use all values from a record. So let's say second one. Now in object, what I need to write is contract. And now I need to add the field. So let me just check what are the mandatory field for contract, right? Or what I can do, I will also try looking here. Contract. Yeah, so we have, let me just click on new. So account name is, uh, mandatory status is mandatory start date and contract term is mandatory so let's move to flow builder and here first of all populate the account 
account id now in account id i need to pro populate the opportunity account id let's say record dot account id record means opportunity and then i need to fetch the account id over there after that status so let's say i am going to write in approval process or let's say draft now we need to provide the start date so as per the scenario what should be the start date is close date of the opportunity so let's say i am going to close this opportunity on record dot close date now after that what i am going to do here term so i think it's 12 month let's check what is the value yeah it is 12 months so i think end date is same as contract term is for 12 months i guess so let's for now click on done and try to save our flow and let's uh, create order contract let's save let's try to debug it now so opportunity or let's go to here look for opportunities there are opportunities and let's all opportunities so i am going to select the burlington textile weaving plant to generate so it is already won i am going to select dickinson mobile generator so let's move to flow dickinson select it and now here i am going to change the stage to closed one there is the stage yeah here is the stage and i am going to write closed one here and click on run so now you can see everything is working fine and also raul uh, when are when you are testing in the record uh, what i can say when you are testing uh, in debug mode you will see this yellow line if it is uh, basically it will show the path of the flow like your how your path is going to be moved or your flow is working fine or not so right now it is working fine let me just activate this and try on to the same example let's say move to dickens and mobile generator after that what i am going to do i am going to make it closed and select closed stage as closed one now i am going to write save so probably a contract should be uh, created on account so let's move to dickens and plc and check whether we have our contract created or not so we don't have the related list of contract let me just move to uh, object manager and create add the related list to account so sorry page layout and the account layout i need to go into related list and in the related list let's add contracts here it is add to the top quick save let's move to the record and try to refresh it so here you can see contract is created let me just open the contract and here you can see, you can also see the contract history as well if i move to details you will see here uh, account is basically dickens and picklist which comes from the opportunity status is draft contract start date is the close date of the opportunity and contract end date basically api came from the contract term so if i let's say if i add 10 months to it it will basically show me uh, january 19 january 2023 right so that's how it will work and we completed our first scenario also let's say i told you let me just show you if i need to select this one if i need to select this option then what i need to do here so first of all i need to create a new record variable which is let's say contract and select here record record uh, data type object let's say contract and then click on done now let me just click on edit flow now let me just click on the plus button here i need to use a assignment element 
because I need to change the value of that contract record, right? So let me just uh, type here, assign contract details. And here I need to simply type contract dot account ID equals the record dot account ID. Similarly for let's say start date. First we need to type contract. Start date equals opportunity close date. Then I need to provide the, so say similarly, I need to add the, all the condition, right? Like I need to type contract dot Stay. status. Yeah. Equals let's say draft contract dot term. Let's say in the scenario we have, I guess 10 months or 12 months. So let's add a 12 here and done. Now after uh, this, we need to go to our uh, update record element and here you can see I'm using the contract record. So let me, let me just click on done and try to hit save as. Let's activate it and try to see if it is working fine for uh, the other opportunities as well. Let me just go to all opportunities and in this list, now what I am going to do is I am going to see, let's say for edge emergency generator, I am going to change the stage to closed one. So let's change the stage from here to closed one. Now let's move to the edge emergency generator. Go to details, which is account name. Here you can see a contract is created with the same uh, details, right? like account is populated, everything is populated, that's it. So that's how you can create contract. And I told you the, both the ways, like when to use this or this one. So it doesn't matter what you are going to use, right? If you are going to play with the record global record variable, which is contract record variable, then you need to change the value of that record variable like this. Otherwise you can simply use a create record element, no need to create a uh, record, uh, basically uh, we use record in multiple, uh, let's say when we need to create multiple uh, records at a time, I will bring some scenarios uh, in upcoming session where we need to create multiple session and we are going to store multiple uh, records over there. So yeah, for now we just, we are good with this scenario, right?